Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today we're playing Tussle League Options. No, we're actually playing Dead Ball Zone. Um, it's a PS1 futuristic sports game, very much made to sort of be basically Speedball 2 for the PS1, but not the actual Speedball they did for PS1, which wasn't as good as I remember this being. Um, I'm only playing this because I was looking on Oddpod's Twitter the other day, and he was like, hey, what's some PS1 games you like that people might not have heard of? And someone in the comments said Dead Ball Zone, and I remembered I have a copy of this, and I haven't played it for about 20 years, and I remember it being really good. So I thought I'd bring it up and give it a go and play it on the channel. But first, I'm going to go to options, because I want to show you the uh, the game options. The way everything's worded on here is like, so 90s. Overlays? For sure. Blood? Watch and bleed. Can we press that and change it? I'm squeamish. <laughs> Watch them hurl. Like everything's written expert mode, no tar. That's that's your clue that it's a British game. I don't know what auto shuffle is, what's that say? Cover, unmanned position, formation position. Camera setting, we've got camera settings. Vibration, shake it baby. My controller doesn't have vibration, I don't think. No. Menu display, plush, rapid. Oh yeah, you can make it so it automatically flips between menus rather than doing the animations and stuff. Because this is like one of the early games where, I mean, that animation is going on. But anyway, um, yeah, futuristic sports. One of those ones you throw balls around, you score goals. I think you can get into fights. I can't remember. Um, you can make custom teams as well. I want to be player one. What we got here? Rockstar. He's called Rockstar. How do we change him? Ah, there you go. Penal, I think Penal X was my boys when I used to play this. Um, who's cool though? We've got leopards. They look really weird here because, I mean, it's a PS1 and this is one of those games using, you know, it's using Diverin a hell of a lot. Um, oh, voodoo. Skull boys. Um, obviously the Diverin wouldn't really show up on a CRT. It would look smooth and you'd get gradients of colour and stuff. Oh, I like Harlequins. Um, I'm going to have to be mighty meaty. I like the sound of that. And who's the CPU going to be? Let's let's make the CPU F120. Oh, they're futuristic. Let's make the CPU the um, what was the other one? Harlequins. Yeah. Right. Is that it? We're done. Start. Yeah, we can start. Do we get to pick a stage? I did look at the instructions, and there is circle the pass, X to shoot, and there's some shop. This is set in two. This the, this stadium was built in 2004. That is actually the Robot Wars arena. I'm pretty sure. What else we got here? Battlement Arena. The sewer, of course, is a sewer. Are these all built in 2004? No, this one, the Battlement Arena was built in 1066. Oh, shit, that's quite cool. There's only two stages, that's why I'm only seeing two. Let, let's play the Battlement Arena, because it's in Warwick. That's This is another clue, that's a British game. Um, but there, I think this is like probably one of the earliest examples of like someone making a game just to spite original developers. <laughs> Because it's one of those say, cases where people wanted a new version of a game and it wasn't happening. So they were just like, fine, we'll do it ourselves. And they did it. Which I kind of love that sort of thing when it happens. Right. Guns, bombs, chainsaws. Select weapon set. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I want guns and chainsaws, to be honest. I don't know how you use them. But <laughs> we're going to go for it. I'm going to lose this. I haven't played this in freaking ages. Right, here we go. Come here, come here. Did he score a goal straight away? Oh, that's... This is a bad start. They're going to give me a replay just to run it. That is... How long was that? Four seconds? Four seconds. Well, I just want to remind people I haven't played this in about 20 years. Possibly longer. Right, who am I controlling? There you go, I punched him. I've got the ball. No. Oh, God, he shot... Did he shoot me? <laughs> Wait, what happened there? No, 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 no. What happened? Why did I fall down on the floor? Was I facing the wrong direction? Oh. This is not going well. Maybe I hate this game. <laughs> there was like, um... I've said before in another video that I wanted to do a... Like a PS1 sci-fi thing. Oh, pass. Pass. Oh, no, you got it. I, got, I've, I think I'm getting the hang now. There you go, pass, pass. Right, we got it. 
pass to him. No, that's a bad pass, boy. Fuck. Um, but yeah, I said a while ago I wanted to do a PlayStation 1 sci-fi video, like about... Oh god. Right, here we go. Fuck, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Hey, look, look, they're not scoring in two seconds this time, so give me some credit. No, 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 give me that boat, no. There we go. Ah! I haven't pressed any of the shoulder buttons. I'm pretty sure one of the shoulder buttons does stuff. This is sudden death playoff. When the time runs out, it's like, yeah, it goes until the ball's out of control. Um, yeah, I said I want to do a PS1 sci-fi video where I just look at PlayStation 1 sci-fi games and I was trying to figure out what the point should be on them. Oh, this guy, Grinder Diesel's damaged. Um, how do I switch him out? Uh, swap positions. Subs bench. Let's send out uh, Dick Iron Boot. Yeah, I like Dick Iron Boot. So do we have to... Ah, there you go. Press that. Subs bench. Dick Iron Boot. There you go. Horzag Injection. Blake the Jet. These are good names. I like these names. Ju Juan, Juan Sandpaper. Right, who can we swap? There we Johnny Beltfeed. Beltfeed? Kenny Slash? Dak Real Deal? <laughs> I like that name. Dak Real Deal. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a science fiction video. Just like going, you know, the look of PlayStation 1 sci fi games. And I wasn't really sure if I had like a point to it that I could make. So part of it. I've, what I've sort of thought about if I ever do do that video it, there wouldn't be a point basically it would just be here is some science fiction sci-fi games on PS1 that I really like and yeah I'm going to talk about them and say this is stuff I like about them and like about the aesthetic because it wouldn't really be about an individual game it'd be about the aesthetic of PS1 games uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh fuck I figured out turbo okay I figured out how to run and the shoulder buttons jam in there did you hear it click um, oh, while we're here and I'm talking about things clicking um, not really anything to do with anything um, go over to a channel called Sunset Hotline, that guy just discovered Carmen Rider on the Super Famicom which is a fantastic beat em up it's one of those beat em ups that like next to nobody knows about, oh, I thought I had to pull their shit oh right, was it one of the buttons switches what play you're controlling shit, man I'm losing this but um, yeah, he's just discovered Carmen Rider on the Super Famicom. If you've got a SNES emulator, um, find legally, uh, you know, a copy of Carmen Rider on the Super Famicom. It's one hell of a beat em up. I don't actually use these specials we've got. Give me that. Let me score one goal, come on. No! Okay, yeah, it's gone badly. It's gone really badly. I, fi I know I played this game a lot. I know I fin I'm pretty sure I finished it. <laughs> like, look, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time, and I'm not having a good time. <laughs> Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. No, no, get off me. Ah, oh, fuck you. Time. Is that the final? Oh, that's the quarter. So we got two quarters to bring it back. We can do this. And uh, none of our guys are really injured. Dougal Mallet's doing all right, you know. Subs bench. We're running out of players. Um. Let's change formation and see how this goes. Yeah, let's attack a wedge. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, well, I'm losing track of where I was. But check out Sunset Hotline's video of Carmen Ryder. It's good. It's good. He's having a go on it and he's discovering it. And I like it when people discover cool games. It just pushed me. Cheeky fuck knuckle. Oh, no. No, you don't. Yeah, pass over that way. Come on, let me. Ah. I had that for a second. No, no. There. Got the ball off him. Jesus Christ, just ran straight into that guy and got knocked the feck out. This is like, you see, it's like, like, um,. Speedball. It doesn't have the like the sense of humour thing going on, like the ice cream, ice cream, and all that. Um, leave that for uh, behold the kick men in in its future sports mode, which is pretty good. I love that. Nah, 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 nah. 
Ah, there is no getting past people. They are too good. You know, obviously I picked the toughest opponents in the game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, oh god, Blake is injured. Let's swap him out for China Diamond. And Dougal Mallet for Johnny Beltfeed. Oh, hang on. I didn't select him, did I? Boom, there you go. That's better. And Dak Real Deal's getting injured. It's the last quarter. We might as well sub out all the guys. Rob Phantom, that's a that's a cartoon character if ever there was one. Can I score one goal, please? Get ready. And how do I use a chainsaw? <laughs> oh, someone just used a chainsaw on me. I have got rumble on this controller. I didn't think I had rumble. Right. <laughs> oh. No, come here. Give me the... How do I use the chainsaw? I want to chainsaw someone. Ah, that was close. Look, that guy's running around with a chainsaw on his arm. That's cheating. Oh, give it, give it, give it. No, don't do that. I'm getting better. What's the passing like on this game, man? Jeez. No. I'm losing track of who I'm controlling. It's like it's switching them up really quickly. I must have got the hang of this game in the past, but not today. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <sighs> what should I mention? Uh, Reacting Sentai Yoko Ranger, my side channel, hit 200 subscribers for me and Kev, which is pretty good considering we haven't added anything to the channel for three months. Um... We will. We will. We'll, we'll go back to that. I'm going to do a vlog video for it, just a little update. Might review some stuff while I'm while I'm there, just to say hey, thanks for subbing and stuff. Oh fuck! Maybe this is like golf, and it's the person who's closest to zero who wins. Do you think that's going to be the case? How do I use my guns? I want to use a gun. I want to shoot him. Let me shoot them. They KO'd one of my. They killed one of my guys. Is that the game over? Nah, I'm good. I don't think. I, I don't think I need to play again. But yeah, that didn't go well. This game. Maybe I shouldn't have played this game. Maybe I should have played something else. I did think I'd play Silent Bomber, but then I figured if I started Silent Bomber, I wouldn't stop playing it because that game is great. And I played that not that long ago. It's really good. Um, that's one that would definitely be in the sci-fi video. I also got myself a copy of Alien Trilogy recently. Should have played that. I did terrible on this. It still feels sort of like this... Like it feels very sort of like... Um, sort of digital to play, if you get what I mean. It's analog compatible. I could have switched on the analog part of the joystick and, and played this analog. Hold on. How do you do it? You go to controller settings. Analog mode. It's not doing it. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. I sort of like. I reckon if I kept playing, I could figure that out. There was a couple of times where I kept possession on there. There's the controls. Bend right, bend left. Oh, that was a thing. Switch, turbo, shoot, pass. There's no like information about whether that's attacking or defending. But anyway, um, that was Dead Ball Zone, which is a game that people have forgotten about from the PS1 and I thought I'd play it because Oddpod got told about it and it reminded me so yeah thanks for watching uh, I'll catch you all next time I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for the next Mellow Gaming Recommends if I ever do do that sci-fi video it'll be like it probably won't be like a straight up monthly one that'll be something I have to think and record tons of footage and probably compile a few other games I need because I've probably only got about like 10 sci-fi games on the PS1 which isn't enough there's a couple others I'd want I'd want um was it Tenka, I think it was called? There was a first person shoot on PS1 with a really cool gun. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that one day. We'll do that one day. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye!